What's up, guys? For today's devotion, we're going to be in First Chronicles chapter 21, which is an unusual place to go. Don't typically spend a lot of time in Chronicles. But in chapter 21, uh, David is tempted by Satan to take up a census. You might see something really insignificant to us to, to, to number the people of Israel. But nonetheless, it's a good lesson for us to know. If we listen to Satan, it is sin, right? We should not listen to, uh, to the devil. But that is what happens in verse 1. Satan stood against Israel and cited David to number Israel, and David does. And as you can guess, verse 7, the Lord is displeased with this. Verse 7, but God was displeased with this thing, and he struck Israel. And David, he says to God, I have sinned greatly. Please take away the iniquity of your servant, for I have acted very foolishly. And the Lord, in David's repentance, is like, hey, I'll give you three options to take away your iniquity. One, I can give you three years of famine on the land. Two, for three months, you can lose every battle and fall to the sword of your enemies. Or three, a combination of these things. There will be pestilence in the land. You will uh, fall to your enemies. But I'll also send an angel of the Lord to destroy the, the territory of Israel. And David, he ponders these things and he's like, it is better that I choose the third option. And here's why he says, I'm in great distress. This is verse 13 of chapter 21. Let me fall into the hand of the Lord, for his mercy is great, but do not let me fall into the hand of man. David, as the king of Israel, is supposed to be the one as a representative of God's kingdom. Right? He's supposed to be one that is after God's heart, that he would be obedient to the Lord, that he would be pure and blameless before man, that he would resemble the character of Christ. Right? That is, that is his responsibility and duty as the king of Israel, this king of God's people. But he sins greatly here by listening to the devil. And what's really interesting is his sin, David's sin, brought punishment and iniquity uh, on the whole nation of Israel, that they would have to suffer these things. And it's really interesting as we think, how does this point me to Jesus? Uh, David sinned, the king, and his sin brought punishment on the people of Israel. But when I look at King Jesus, he didn't sin never sinned, walked blameless, upright all his days. He never sinned, and yet the people of God, their sin was put punished on Jesus on the cross. So King David, he sins, and the people are punished. King Jesus never sinned, and our punishment was put on him. And it is good for us to just see how there is, there is in the Bible, all sorts of characters, all sorts of people who fall short of the glory of God. In fact, every single one of them, except for one, right? We can look at Abraham, Moses, Noah, Joshua, Joseph, all of these people, Jacob, have fallen short of the glory of the Lord. David, Solomon, even like Peter, Paul, they have all fallen short, but it is only Jesus who lived upright all his days. And he takes our punishment for us out of his great love for us. And so for that, we can be extremely thankful to the Lord for the gospel.